doesn't always have the answer. News 4's Beth Brotherton introduces us. Let's see how one of these catapults actually works, okay? It's launch time in William Wilcox's sixth grade science class. All right, there's a trash can. A ping pong ball is ready for liftoff from this homemade catapult. The experiment is generating tons of enthusiasm and teaching students more than one state science standard. They have to know about force, motion, speed, mass, velocity, which works up. They get all that in one activity. And they're having fun doing it. The catapults are student designed, student built, and student tested. As soon as they make the catapult, they come up and they test fire, they make their adjustments, they do their own fixes. I don't help them at all. They have to figure it out themselves. Mr. Wilcox wants students to be problem solvers. And in this world, they have to think. They, it, they have to use their hands. It's, it's not always going to be technology out there. You have to be able to, to think things out and make your own decisions. Wilcox has set up his Grey Court Owings middle school classroom with what he calls a lot of tinkering stuff. Go ahead. I trust you. Students love his hands-on approach. He actually makes it come to life. He don't just sit there and yell at us and make us do textbooks and write notes all day. Then you'll take this one. After 35 years at the school, Wilcox is willing to admit he doesn't have all the answers. We laugh every day. You know, I, I, you know, you have to have a sense of humor because sometimes your best laid plans don't work right. And that he has a few skeletons in his closet. You got a headband on. He jokes that this one is his girlfriend. She's among the large collection of stuff he's gathered during his decades in the classroom. I'll pop this off here. Students tell us science is more like a hobby for Mr. Wilcox than a job. You gotta be excited about this. You know, if you're excited about things, the kids are excited about this. It's why he has no plans to retire anytime soon. Instead, he'll continue to launch a love of science with one catapult at a time.